Hello everyone, this is Harry, and this is my game review for Pseudo, Pseudo, whatever it's called. You see, that's the beauty of this game. I have no idea how you actually say it. It's a Brazilian horror game, so it's not my fault that I only speak American. Not English, by the way. So, obviously spoilers. I have to say this at the start of the video, I think. Uh, yeah, so... <clears throat> Wow. So it was actually terrifying. Uh, jump scares are a great way to get a reaction, I would have to say, as we've learned. Um, it was pretty good graphic-wise. It looked pretty nice. I mean, it was a little, little uh, clunky looking, but I had amazing frames for a second, so I guess I can't really complain. Uh, it was short, so that was, that was like a bittersweet, because I kind of wanted to play more, see what happens after. Um, I thought there was more to the game, to be honest, not just one timed level, but that's, that's all there was there, so I don't know. Um, it was free, I like free, uh, so I would say out of 10, I'd give it... 8 again, and the two points it could have got were it could have had more content, you know, like after the timed thing, you go and do something. Um, and then, I don't know, I guess the next point could kind of be graphics a little bit, but mostly just like all around beautification of it, because, I don't know, the story was there but it wasn't, like, there. It still was an amazing game, though. I wish I could actually pronounce it, but there you go, Brazilian. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. My heart didn't enjoy that. It, like, jumped out of my chest. Now I have, like, this, this, little, this little heart tattoo. That's all I have left. Uh, if you like these games, let me know in the comments. Uh, comment what you thought of the game obviously, and make sure you subscribe and tell your friends. I'll see you guys later, so peace out and hail Cthulhu.